you came here to see part two of the Iron Man and Thanos diorama. This thing is a beast with over 30 LEDs, tons of rocks, huge freaking base. Oh, let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm back. Feels like forever since I posted a video. This diorama has taken so much time, but finally, after over 100 hours and 30 LEDs, it's done. So finally, Thanos' pose from part one will make a little more sense now. I'm going to have Iron Man up in the air, shooting his arm cannon down at Thanos, destroying the nano gauntlet, my own little version of the end game battle. So after I get the armature all set up and in the right pose, it's time to add all the wire for the LEDs. So that's two wires for the chest, two for the eyes, two for the cannon, and two each for the thrusters. Then after I add on my thin sheet of clay and bake it, it's time to bulk out the sculpture. This part was actually the easiest, as all I had to do was make a basic body shape, and then I would go back over and carve in all the lines and different plates of the suit. Now I didn't have to do it, but I tried to make sure I got every little detail to make it as accurate as possible. This was way more time consuming than it looks. Now that the body is done, I can take a few hours and go over and smooth out everything before I bake it. Using alcohol with a brush and then using a rake tool I made from a guitar string and a brass tube. These things are amazing for smoothing out clay. Now it's time to carve out the chest and clean it up so I can put in the LED. Now I'm going to be posting a full video on how to do the LEDs in my sculptures on my Patreon page in the next couple days. So if you wanted to know any secrets I use, you can get them on there. Along with getting in the raffle for a free sculpture that you can choose what I make and I'll make it. That raffle is actually coming up in about a month. So you'll see I made two LEDs for the eyes. The funny thing about this head is that I made it too small the first time, so I got to make it all over again. So after smoothing out the head, I take a heat gun and go over the whole thing for just a few minutes. I will show you why in just a minute. 
Now after the body has baked, it's time to put in the LEDs. But first, preparing the wires with solder and soldering up the LED. Then after I place the LED where I like it, I pack in around it some transparent polymer clay and then cover it and smooth it out. Now after the heat has cooled down, and since I only went over it a little bit with the heat gun, the outside is hard but the inside is soft, so I can carve out the soft clay and get the LEDs in behind those eyes. Then I cover them with some more transparent clay. For the arm cannon, I used four LEDs for the start of the beam, then pressing on some clay and doing the same thing I did for the suit. Here are all the LEDs that I needed for the beam of the cannon. Again, video about all of this on my Patreon page soon. Then wrapping them in a thin sheet of transparent clay. Now it's time to make the Iron Man nano gauntlet for Thanos, but it will be half destroyed. Now I added two LEDs to each thruster and wrapped that in thin sheets of transparent clay as well. Now for the base, I used cardboard and hot glue to frame out the rubble and rock area. Then covered the whole thing in thin sheets of clay from my pasta roller. For the texture, I simply used some rocks from out in my backyard. Then I took a bunch more of those rocks and placed them around the base. Now on to the paint, starting out by coating Iron Man in a white primer and spraying the base in a black primer. Then I used metallic red for the suit. I thought it would be easier this way to paint the whole suit red first and then go back over it with silver and gold, but this metallic paint really didn't like having paint on top of it. So I had to add black under all the gold pieces and it took several layers of paint for all of it. Then I can go over the suit with a black wash to get into all those little panel lines and bring down the tone of the colors a bit. I made the tones a little brighter on purpose because I knew I was going to be putting this black wash over everything.
then just adding in all the scratches and paint chips. Then I took some brown paint and dry brush it over the rocks and ground. Then I did a very light pass of some light brown and we can call this diorama finally finished. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I really hope you enjoy the video. And remember, I make new clay sculptures every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. Remember to share the crap out of the video, like it, dislike it, comment, do all that good stuff, help support the channel, help boost it up. There's links down below for the Patreon page in the store if you wanna contribute a little bit more. Remember to stay happy, stay sane, and I'll see you all next week.